So this is another navigation problem. This time it is the MV Coho famed ferry from Port Angeles traveling at 20 miles an hour from Port Angeles at a direction angle of 65 degrees for two hours. It takes it around the southern tip of Vancouver Island. So two hours, 20 miles an hour gives me a distance of 40 miles in the blue vector then it changes course to a direction angle of 155 degrees and sails for four hours. Still the same speed, so four hours times 20 miles an hour is gonna be 80 miles as it heads up the inside passage past Vancouver, um, bound for who knows where. Label the vector diagram with the distances traveled in each direction. I did that. Check, add the vectors, find the distance and direction angle from the port in Port Angeles to the boat up here in the inside passage. Let's do a closer examination of these two direction angles before anything else. So my direction angles, 65 degrees and 155 degrees. It seems like be something special about this. I'm gonna find the difference between 55, 155 and 65. If I subtract, oh, look at that, it's 90 degrees. 90 degrees means this is a right angle, giving me a right triangle, which opens a world of possibilities. I could, as my first option, deal with these two vectors by finding their components and, and do vector addition with the components. But since there's a right angle, that opens up another set of options where I can use right triangle trig, sine, cosine, tangent, secant, cosecant, cotangent, and apply that to the vector distances without having to use components. So first up, let's find that distance that an airplane or something, uh, if it was gonna take off from Port Angeles and fly up there to the, to the ferry, somebody forgot something at home and they're gonna pay to have it flown up to them. Uh, how far away is it? Okay, well, it's simple Pythagorean theorem here, so 40 squared plus 80 squared. Uh, take the square root of that and end up with 89.4 miles on the hypotenuse, which is the resultant. Next, we defined the angle, the direction angle specifically. So it's a right triangle. So I can use, in this case, tangent. So I know the opposite and adjacent sides. I need to find that angle. So set up tangent of the mystery angle is 80 over 40 inverse tangent of that gave me an angle of 66.4 degrees. Yeah, 66, 63.4 degrees is the inside the triangle angle. So it's not my final answer. It's a fun name to say, but it takes a long time to write. Inside the triangle angle, 63.4 degrees. Okay, to get the direction angle, I know I need to start from the positive side of the x-axis. My direction angle, or sorry, the inside the triangle angle is not measured from the positive side of the x-axis. That 63.4 degrees is actually measured from the blue vector. So the blue vector I remember from earlier was at 65 degrees. So if I was to take the 65 degrees of rotation to get to the blue vector and then add the inside the triangle angle, that would give me the total direction angle from Port Angeles to the final location of the MV Coho. So 65 plus 63.4 is going to give me 128.4 degrees as my direction angle. Hopefully nobody actually forgot something back on the ferry dock in Port Angeles and needs to have it helicoptered up to them because, yeesh, that'd be expensive.